Is that, are they all running? Running, filming, filming. I can't see if this one is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, they're all doing it. Hand over your head. I see your hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back to Me and Monami, and today we've got a very exciting challenge for Elton because we're going to attempt to drive him to over 4,000 feet above sea level, a 22 kilometer drive, a 44 kilometer round trip to the beautiful perched village of Pei. But it's a village that doesn't have a charger. So, um, will we make it back? So, as you can see, this journey is going to be almost entirely uphill. Uh, and we're about to hit here one of the steepest hills in the whole of uh, Villefranche where our speed regularly drops down to about um, 16 kilometers an hour or less. Um, but it really should be quite a spectacular drive because we're going to go past the wonderful Es Village up into the fantastic village of La Turbie and then we're going to go up in the direction of Santa Agnes, which is the uh, where we did that incredible drive on the notorious D22. But we're not going on the D22 today. We're then going to carry on straight up to the uh, the fantastic village of Pei. Um, and as you can see, the sun is out. I've got my hat on, sent to us by our lovely subscribers, Glenn and Claudette, who uh, want to take care of my my skin in the sun um, but anyway sit back and enjoy what should be a beautiful beautiful drive Well, are you excited to get back in Elton, Mr. Boo? Very excited. I am genuinely excited today to be back in Elton. It's, I have to confess, it's been a bit of a struggle to get all the tech working because the time we were away, it's amazing how my adult brain has declined and I didn't know which wire to stick in or which camera to put there or there. Uh, so fingers crossed this all works. Um, and it's also, it's great to get out because the weather's been pretty lousy for 10 days, hasn't yeah. it? It's, it's been grey and gloomy, and every time we thought about going to a village, we thought, oh, it's going to look grey and gloomy and depressing. And we don't want that, do we, on this channel? No. We don't want gloom. Um, so, um, anyway, we're, we're back at it, and um, I hope you're managing to, uh, to drink in a few of these views, because as one of our subscribers said of this drive on the the Moyen Corniche, this is the Moyen Corniche, the second of the three Corniches into Italy. It is a drive that never, ever grows old. There's nothing they like more in Nice than a bollard here. Yeah, the small, these plaggy bollards, that are obsessed with them. I think the Mary's got a deal with some plaggy bollard company. Plaggy bollard. Plaggy bollards, because they just love pouring them up. Hey Siri, what's 34 kilometers in miles? 21.13. There you go. Thanks Siri. So we're going a scintillating 21. But look at this tunnel. I love this tunnel. I feel like I'm into Catch a Thief and James Bond. Struggling to get leg over, wouldn't he? Sort of. And it happens to all of us. The 
there's that lorry park up here, Mr. Boo. I'm going to speed past it. I don't want you... Because I know you've got a thing about lorries, haven't you? I love lorries. You like trucking, don't you? Red lorries, yellow lorries. Convoy exceptional, convoy exceptional. Look at this, it's a whole, whole house in convoy. Look at it. What house is that? I bet you it's like a tower block or something, don't you? I bet it's pre-built bits. I think that, is that a Fawawi? Fawawi? I think that was a yellow Fawawi. Um, and you can see up there, what a fantastic view of Es Village today. It, it doesn't get better than that. It is crystal clear. There's no pollution, there's no cloud. Um, and I imagine there aren't too many crowds there yet because uh, it's early March. It's nice to be back doing videos on time as well, isn't it? Chihuahua, look. Chihuahua on the road. Oh, it's a shame. We wanted to bring Halloween today and she wanted to come, but she's getting a bit old and uh, she's got a bit of problem with water on her lungs, hasn't she? Uh, which is a very common Chihuahua thing. And the last few days she's been, she's on meds for it, but um, we just didn't want to put her through a whole day of filming until she gets a bit better but she was in a big sulk, she wanted to come, so she sends her apologies. Mr. Boo's getting cold, I better shut, shut window. Well, you'll get it in your ear and then I'll get... Oh, I've got cramp in the hand now from shutting window. Which is weird, because I did it with the other hand. Yeah, that's very strange. <laughs> range is down to 49. I am, um, much as we were laughing about going to this village with no charger, um, I think it's going to be a hell of a struggle to get there and get back without stopping for a charge or using our um, uh, portable power bank, which we've got down here, which I loaded in earlier, causing a groin strain. Um, winner. Never learn. But, um, at least that gives us a little bit of extra range, I think about 19 kilometres. But let's see, because as I say, this journey is 22, but it's 22 uphill, uh, and we've already used more than 22. Um, and I think we're causing a bit of a hold up. Well, it's only one car. And see over there, that's your, possibly your first view of the Trophée des Alpes, which is the thing that the Romans built. Um, that's how old La Turbie is. got 41 kilometers of range left. A lot of cyclists up here, aren't there, today? Well, they've probably been doing the Col de la Madone. 
Oh yeah, the Col de la Madone, which is the famous uh, cycle route near here. Very stiff challenge, the Col de la Madone. Very spectacular, isn't it? Is that on the D22? That is on the D22. It's on the, the most dangerous road, or one of the most dangerous roads in France. This one's not bad, but it's at least a little bit wider. The D22 is uh, terrifying. I will say this. This ride's making me a little nauseous. I know what you mean. I, I think I'm, because I'm driving, I'm protected, but as a passenger, I think I'd be feeling a bit uh, travel sick. It's very, uh, very weavy, isn't it? Wiggly and windy. So, Mr. Boo, what do we know about the village of Pei? Well, it's very, very old. How old? We're talking Neolithic. Neolithic? Yeah. Wow. What's the, uh, what's the, what's the population of this Neolithic village? It's uh, 2,300. 2,300 on a good day? On a good day. And, and are there, is there somewhere we're going to be able to eat in this village? Uh, I hope so. I think the offerings are limited. I think I looked and I thought there were two restaurants, one of which was only open in the evenings. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully the other one's open today. I know. We, and we were going to bring a sandwich, weren't we? Is that up to the D22? That's to the D22. Wow. That's where you go. Um, yeah, we were going to bring a sandwich. We never learn. Remember that day in Santa Agnes where we were nearly starved to death? Didn't nearly we? starved to death. Wow, look at this. There's Pei over there. There is the village of Pei, the first sign of it. Look at this tunnel. Ooh. 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 This is scary. I didn't realise it was a bit scary, this drive. It wouldn't be me and Ronnie if it wasn't a little bit scary. I'm going to go a bit more careful here. I'd like to be looking at the village. It's an incredible view from here. But, uh, I think I'd better concentrate on the road. Slow down. I'm going fast. Do you want to go fast? Wow, look at this. That's a view. Oh, definitely slow down there. It is one way, this, isn't it? <laughs> in fact, in the 1500s, half of Pei was destroyed by an earthquake. An earthquake? Yeah. That's a top fact. Which half? So here we are, the site historic Grimaldi de Monaco. Why is there a Grimaldi connection with Monaco, Mr. Boo? Well, because Monaco always used pay as its agricultural land, what with them not having any any land in there. Oh, so this is where they got their money from the olives and the olive taxes and all that. Yeah, and uh, still a strong relation with uh, the prince and princess, of course. Oh. Their their summer property is technically impayable for... Oh, can I go up here? Yeah. They're digging new electrics. Maybe they're going to install a charger, Mr. Boo. Well, it'd be an idea. It's funny because most of these remote villages that we've been to around here have had, had a charger, but there's definitely not one here. There is definitely not one. Of course, with Elton, we can, if we were really, really stuck, uh, go and knock on somebody's door and say, can we just uh, stick it in your socket? Because he can charge him very quickly from a normal domestic, but uh, hopefully we either won't charge or we'll use the power bank, but we're down to 25 We've used kilometers. 50 kilometers. We've used 50, yeah. But For that was all uphill. I mean, going mm. downhill back, 
we, we will use a fraction of that. There's not much parking space, though, is the old disabled. Do you think we can... Can you mock up a blue... Well, you have got, you've got car sickness, haven't you? Yeah, I don't think that really counts for disability. Oh. Um, What's that say? Vigi Pirate. Well, let's carry on down here and see we can... I don't know whether you meant to drive in. Do you think you meant to drive in? I think there was a sign saying don't. Really? So, yeah, but but we have now. Oh shit, sorry. Ooh, look at that drop there. I don't know whether this is a road or not. Oh, there's a sign, don't let your dog do a whoopsie. Well, we can maybe go through this tunnel. It and... feels like we're going down the grates, can you? I think that's okay. And then maybe we can turn around in this little... There's a smell. You smell yeah, it. I think the dog's done a whoops. It stinks. <sighs> Doesn't it? I think they've got some block blockage. Wow, look at this, though. This is kind of spectacular. Oh, I can see a restaurant up here. Look. Oh. Oh, there. Oh. Le Petit Gourmet. Wow. Pl oh, what was that? Was that the car? Oh, it's a cannon. Oh, it's the 12 o'clock cannon in me. No, it's not. It's 12.15. Not... <laughs> oh, look at the Hotel de Ville. Wow, look at the town hall. I don't think we should go any further in the car. Well, let's see if we can go up here. I'm going to park here for that restaurant because it's handy. <laughs> oh, look, there's a butcher here. Look at this sign. Wowie. I've got a feeling we might have to reverse out of here. Well, then whose fault will that be for not taking my advice? I know, but... I like to explore. Yep. Well, keep, Ooh, going, keep going, going forward. Down, I'm not going down there. It's a good job. We've got a narrow little open. Oh. Wow, I didn't think we could drive through pay, and it possibly we shouldn't be. If a gendarmery pops up, you'll know we're in trouble. It's very narrow. I don't think there's many gendarmeries about. In fact, have I you seen a person? I don't know. <laughs> I want to go to that restaurant. I don't fancy reversing up here, but it does seem like it's a road, this, doesn't it? I just don't know. I don't know. It's getting narrower. I mean, I'd you... say I'll get out and have a look, but I don't think the, I don't think the doors will open. Oh, there's another restaurant. Look. Oh, there's an electric box. Oh, careful. Bar snack and crepery. I've already crept myself. This is da Oh, we can't get past that sign, can mm. we? I don't think we should have done this. Do you think? Do you want me to see if, if I move the blackboard and see, see if I can Just turn? Just see what... No, you can't get out. Well... I can't get out. Well, you have to go back a little bit so I can get into somebody's doorway, maybe. Well, let's just reverse. I hate reversing. At best of times. Um... Well, it's very inconvenient, that sign blocking the passage, but I think that's possible because we're not meant to have driven up here. Yeah. Are you watching that side? Yeah. So, so I watch this side? Yeah. Let me close my window. You're a bit close to my side. How do I get that? Well, I go forward, don't I? And then pull back or something. Ooh, Stop. No. This might be Elton's Waterloo. You're very close to my side. Yeah. You've got loads more room on your side than mine. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get over to my side. Stop. It's tricky. Like this. Yeah. Both. Ah! Oh, tyre's stuck on the wall now. Try again in reverse. Well, now let's go forward. Then I can get more across to this side, mm -hmm. you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stop. And then... This is possibly the most difficult reverse I've ever done. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got plenty of room on my side. And then sort of straight. Yeah. It keeps veering over there. Oh, I've got cramp. Ah! Oh. I've got cramp in my leg, Mr. Boot. I'm getting close again, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I've never been good at reversing. Well, I'm so glad you chose today to do this experiment. What time does that resident shut? <laughs> I don't want to bash the camera. Yeah? Yeah, you're doing fine. So straight now. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see where the wheels were pointing straight. I need one of those beep, 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 beep. You know those mm. parking things. Mm. I could get out and make that noise. Oh, it's going to catch on this wall now. Careful, because of the GoPro. Bill. No, that's too. Stop. This man's laughing at us. I hope he's not going to see the police. This is officially a nightmare. Stop. Might be Stop. easier to push. We've really buggered it up now. I have no idea how to get that out. Got to go forward more. Yeah. Right. Straight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that right? No. No. Why? Because it's going to hit the light there. Oh, for God's sake. You've got so much room on your side. I know. Well, so I just go over there like that. Yeah. And then to twist. And then straight. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Keep going. Keep yep. going straight. Yeah. Yeah? Yep, good. Keep going straight? Yeah, keep going straight. You watching that side? I'm fine on my side. This was possibly daft to start. There's a drop just coming up here, just yeah, be careful. Yeah, It's not for, it's not for 10, 15 I've meters. I've got cramp in my left leg again. Yeah? Yep. Keep going, pedestrian. Merci. <laughs> he thinks we're kind of crazy. I wonder where he but got he that idea. He doesn't seem to say there's no cars can't come up, does he? Maybe he's just not interested, looking for his friend. Look at that hole in there. I'd rather not. Oh, shit, I, would, I lost concentration. Oh, did you? I'm gawping. We're going to have no power left doing all this reversing. <laughs> There's an animal. He's saying, son, when you grow up, don't be like them. Idiot drivers. OK, merci. 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 Traffic cop, wasn't he? Friend of the channel. Friend of the channel. <laughs> yeah? yeah? It's not a drop, is there? No. We're, miles from, we're coming up to the drop, but we're miles from falling. Okay. Well, at least I'm not using any power because it's downhill, this bit. Ah! That was, that was a scratch. Forward. Stupid. I know. It was just the wheel, I think. Oh, look at my scratches, Mr. Boo. Uh oh. Oh, no. They just need a rub, don't they? Yeah. Needs a heat gun, I think. Just needs a heat gun, maybe. Mr. Boo is going up to the uh, Petit Gourmet to see if they've got a table. It'd be handy if we could just have that table there overlooking the car. And then we wouldn't have to take the cameras off. Oh, he's got the prime table in the sun overlooking Elton. Look at that. 
Now that's a result. You see, it was worth reversing through the village for half an hour. So it was a bit of a result we got in here, wasn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely full. Rammed. It's crazy. Really busy. There's Mr. Boo to, uh, to reverse engineering in pay. And it's a very good local menu. Do polenta, do ravioli, that's beef stew, ravioli niçoise. Uh, supreme de pintard is, is uh, chicken with girol mushrooms, linguine. And it's good prices, so let's, let's see whether it's tasty. And look, there's another restaurant over there, but I think that is the one that only opens in the evenings. And it's also used as a location for a Tina Turner music video. What, that restaurant? Yep. I'm going to lock that up, I'm not sure you're not making it I'm up. not. She dances in the square with some Italian man. There it is. It's a local soccer, which is a chickpea pancake during a very hot oven. That looks tasty, Mr. Boo. Mm, can I have some? Taste it. Oh. Mm. What have you got, Mr. Boo? I've got a linguine with parmesan cream. Parmesan cream? Yeah. That's that nice. Looks very creamy. Looks very cheesy. Mm. Mm. You like a bit of cheese, don't you? like a bit of cheese. It's been a long time without cheese. This is very nice. And what do you have? Well, I've got dobe polenta, which is, of course, a traditional beef, Provencal beef stew, possibly thrice cooked in the oven. Mm. And uh, with some polenta. Nice, very nice. Homemade dough, without question, homemade. Well, that was absolutely lovely. And uh, total bill came to 50 euros, about 45 50 euros. pounds. We had a starter, we had two main courses, we had two glasses of wine, which actually came to 14 euros. So if we'd cut the wine, it would have been a really cheap lunch. And we had two coffees. Delicious, and what a fantastic location. And lovely people. Let's now go and explore the village of Pei. Wow, look at that old bar to back frontage. Isn't that fantastic? The absinthe bar. And next door is the old Alimentacion. It's like a film set. It's very much like it's a It's like film they've set. just painted it up, especially to shoot a, 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 a Gerard Depardieu <laughs> film set in a French village. Careful, Mr. Boo. absolutely icy up here. The wind is completely howling down the street, but it's absolutely stunning. And just look at this view. Wow. And look at the view as you look back up the mountain, the village just clinging to the hillside. There's the Hotel de V in the middle there, where we, uh, where we were just having lunch opposite. It's one of those villages that people don't really say a lot about. It's not, I mean, I don't think it's greatly on the tourist trail. There's not a lot of bars, not a lot of restaurants. There's none of that stuff, but it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, I would say it's a lived-in place, it's not a second home place, and uh, it's very unspoiled. This is the road that we came in on where the bus is coming along through that, uh, through that wonderful rock face there, watch it. In it goes, oh, slowing, slowing, will he make it? Will he make it? Go on, you can do it, Mr. Bus. Oh, there he is. It's the 603 from Monaco. One every four days. Look at this, look at this. It's called a, a Via Ferrata. It's a, like a, this very Indiana Jones bridge here. Can oh, you see? wow. A road bridge. A road bridge. And then it connects to like these uh, 
a climbing trail that you go along and you clip yourself oh, on yeah. with your carabiners and that probably. The views here are absolutely incredible. Just look at that. Right the way down and in the distance where you can see the sea there, that's the Bay des Anges, that's Nice. Makes you think, doesn't it, when you look at the ages of the, the people who uh, died here during the liberation. 25, 25, 27, 33, and then you go above it, there's nobody gets to 40. Not one person on that board is 40. Oh, and the bus is now going back and it's there's a blockage, there's a bus and another bus, or it might be a library bus. Look at that. Oh, oh, and there's an ice cream van behind. No, it's a... Oh, oh. There you are, John, just, 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 just. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's all happening. So something we're attempting to do in this new season of films is um, is take a look at what property prices are in these places. Because you know when we were in Port Grimo near Saint Tropez the other day, you know it was absolutely outrageous, 2.9 million with a boat mooring and all the rest of it. Um, but are there places on the Riviera that are more affordable? You would think a village like this with a population of just 2,000 would be a little bit less expensive. Let's ask our resident property expert, Mr. Boo. So, Mr. Boo, what have you discovered? Well, I found quite a few houses for sale. Not so many apartments, but like there's quite big houses, like 105 meters squared, 135 square meters. Yeah, in the village. In the village and on the hillside. Yeah. And you can see, like looking up there, that there's some some standalone houses. Yeah. And the average price is less than 4,000 euros per square meter, so... And when we were in Port Grimo, it was 10,000 a square meter. Yeah. And then down on the coast with a view is often 10,000 a square meter, isn't it? So there's like a three bedroom place here for 375,000. Right. Which you, and it's a standalone house, which you just don't, you don't get really. Yeah, if that was down on the coast, you'd be into the millions, wouldn't you? Yeah. Over, well over the millions. Um, and there's like, a super villa uh, here with big pool, and that's that's two million. But it is um, like seven bedrooms, so and with a pool and a lot of land on it. So um, mm. it's a lot more affordable than, uh, say, Villefranche Boulieu as Yeah, and you're only twenty-two kilometres yeah. from Villefranche, or from Nice, twenty-eight. You say it's twenty-nine. See if we can check out the church. Oh look, Mr. Boo, there's a sign for a museum. Let's check it Let's out. Let's check it out. We like a museum. Is it open? Oh, this wind is getting colder. These are very good steps, Mr. Boo. Oh, after a heavy lunch. It's very low. Oh, what's this? There's a map here for the Espace VTT, like mountain mountain bike routes. Oh. Because it's famous for mountain biking around here. It's where the world champions come and train. Is it? Mountain biking? Yep. Wow. I want this deserted house over here. Look at the view down the valley. Wow. I wonder why it's been abandoned. Here's a wash house in 1930 with a donkey outside it and uh, really hasn't changed much. Oh and look if you were fancying coming to pay there's a gîte, a gîte rural in here which usually means sort of low co relatively low cost accommodation. Is little Elton 
sat in the town square beneath the restaurant waiting for us. Now the big question is, can we get back without stopping for a charge in La Terbi? We've got 22 kilometers range, I think, and we're 22 kilometers away. And don't forget it starts to go very slow at 10. So it's gonna be very tight. We have got a portable power bank with us, so we could stop at the side of the road if we had to. But let's try and see if we can actually get back and do this whole journey, uh, which was 44 kilometers round trip with other little bits added on. Um, and of course was entirely on the way here, steeply uphill. So let's see if we can get back. So we are on the road home. I'm actually gonna correct myself. We've 24 kilometers of range on the clock as I say the, the quad will slow considerably at 10 so we've sort of got about 14 uh, and the journey is at least 22 but let's see whether because we're going downhill and because we'll get quite a lot of regeneration whether we can make it or whether we'll have to stop and plug in our portable power bank this way Mr. Boo oh, yeah. hello <laughs> 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 now this is really funny we knew somebody who lives here because uh, she works in, in our local restaurant in Villefranche and we said I wonder if we'll bump into her and I was thinking there's a woman getting really angry because we're blocking her passage as they say and here she is <laughs> so, hey, hello. Hello. we love pay we love pay we love pay Il y a une semaine. Ouais. Donc euh, oui, et on est toujours euh, prête à recommencer tous les films et tout ça. Ça trop bien. <laughs> tu bosses ce soir. Oui. Je viens ce soir. We got a little bit trapped on Rue Centrale. We oh, we, we drove down. Je rentre dans le Oui. Je vais à la douche, je m'habille, je descends au restaurant. Ok, à ce soir. See you Sunday. Bye. 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 21 kilometers of range. And let's see what this sign says. It's uh, 8.3 to Latterby, where there are, I think, four charges in Latterby. It's quite good, Latterby, isn't it? Yes. to 16 now. We're down to 15 now. I don't I don't think we'll get home, do you? Oh, they're mending the bridge, somebody's gone through it, haven't they? Oh god, don't say that. <laughs> I think they'd have some traffic lights, wouldn't they, or something? Or a man with a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think somebody hit the wall there. Easily done, Mr. Boo. Should be getting a bit of regen now. 13 now, we're down to... We've gone up to 14. Oh, yeah. First time we've actually gained a kilometre on that stretch. Very welcome. We're down to 11 now. We're going to get very close to going usually at 10 you get the uh, low battery warning and it starts to go slower which wouldn't be great on this 70 road there's the low battery warning there's the low battery warning so we've not slow but we've had the low battery warning but we are now going to drop down massively so let's hope we can regen otherwise we're going to have to do an emergency stop turn on the, plug the car into the external power bank. Well, we haven't lost any more range, we haven't gained any on this bit. I'm surprised we haven't gained any. Yeah, I way. thought we'd have gained more. Better not leave the indicator on, Mr. Boo, it might use power. There's the battery warning again. 
So are we about to slow? We've got a fair bit of flat here. I think this is might do us. Let's see. So are we going to go left, which is steepest? Left is steepest here. Yeah, should we do that? Yeah. So we're going to take the steepest route down. Driver's had a bit of a bit of a problem. He, he took it too wide, didn't he? He'll be getting told off about that. Oh, it's a she. I hope, uh, hope she's not doing a test. I think she might have failed on this bend, don't you? Oh. And we're about to arrive in Villefranche. So the miracle has occurred. We've managed to get there and back to pay without charging up and uh, we've come back and managed to regenerate lots of power uh, and we've only used 12 kilometers of range on a 22 23 maybe even a bit more because we're fiddling about in the village anyway hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give us a like please give us a comment and please think about buying us a coffee and remember most of all everyone stay charged Bye.